Hey there, happy greener world here. If you're using an MPP solar inverter or any solar inverter with a Wi-Fi Plug Pro module and you're frustrated with the Smart ESS app not working right, this video is for you. Whether it's refusing to connect, showing the wrong data, or just plain crashing, I've seen it all and I've got fixes. Today, I'm walking you through the most common Smart ESS problems and how to solve them. Stick around. These tips could save you hours of confusion. Let's jump right in. Let's start with the most common issue. The app just won't connect to your inverter at all. If your Smart ESS app is stuck loading, says device not found, or just gives a blank screen, here's what's likely going wrong. Problem 1. Wrong Wi-Fi Setup First, make sure your inverter's Wi-Fi dongle is paired correctly. The Smart ESS app only supports 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi. So if you're on 5 GHz, it will fail. Log into your router and create a dedicated 2.4 GHz band if needed. Also, ensure your phone is connected to the same Wi-Fi network the dongle is using. That's a common mistake. Problem 2. The inverter isn't transmitting. Look at the Wi-Fi dongle itself. Is the LED blinking or steady? If there's no light, it's likely not powered. Double check the RS-232 or USB port connection and restart your inverter. Fix, repair the Wi-Fi module. Open your Smart ESS app and remove the existing device. Then go through the add device process again. Enter your inverter's serial number and password exactly. No spaces or typos. Usually, the serial number is printed on your dongle or inverter screen. Also, make sure you've granted the app location permissions. Otherwise, it may not scan properly. Okay. Now let's talk about another issue. You open the Smart ESS app and it loads, but your data is empty or stuck. Problem one, inverter not sending data. Sometimes the inverter is working fine, but the dongle isn't communicating. Try this. Power cycle your inverter. Unplug and replug the Wi-Fi dongle. Wait two to three minutes, then reopen the app. Also, log into the inverter's local IP using your browser. If you can reach the dongle dashboard, but Smart ESS still shows nothing, it's a cloud side sync issue. Fix, verify device ID and password. Go to the device list in Smart ESS and confirm that the SN serial number is correct. This must match your inverter exactly. One wrong digit and it won't sync. Sometimes, Smart ESS also delays updates by five to 10 minutes, especially under poor signal. Give a moment, then refresh. One of the most confusing issues? Smart ESS is connected, but showing wrong voltage, no battery data, or missing solar input. Problem one, wrong inverter model selected. When you first configure Smart ESS, it asks for the inverter model. And if you select the wrong one, it won't show all metrics. Make sure you've chosen the correct inverter family especially if you're using an off-grid MPP solar or Voltronic clone. Fix, reconfigure model and protocol. Go into the advanced settings of the Smart ESS device in your app. Update the device type and protocol manually if it's available. If not, remove and re-add the inverter with correct options. If Smart ESS keeps crashing on launch, freezing when loading or glitching out, you're not alone. Problem 1. OS compatibility or cache overload. Smart ESS isn't well optimized for all devices. Android 13 Plus users in particular report instability. Fix, clear cache or reinstall. Go to your phone's app settings, Smart ESS, clear cache. If that fails, uninstall and reinstall the app from the Play Store. Avoid side-loaded APKs. Use the official app only. If problems persist, try using a different phone or tablet, especially an older Android version. Weirdly, those often work better with Smart ESS. Before we wrap up, here are three bonus tips to keep Smart ESS working smoothly. Mount the Wi-Fi dongle away from metal. It improves signal and reduces interference. Use a dedicated 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi SSID just for the inverter, with no guest isolation or firewalls. If Smart ESS continues to underperform, consider using the Smart Client app. It's simpler and often more stable for viewing real-time inverter data. Smart ESS isn't perfect, but with a few tweaks, it can be a powerful monitoring tool for your MPP solar inverter. If this video helped you, 
please hit that like button and consider subscribing. I've got more smart ESS and off-grid solar content coming soon. Still facing issues? Drop a comment below. I'll do my best to help. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.